Hello, Bicycle Ben here, and I am taking a look at the new active travel infrastructure that's been provided on Gypsy Lane in Nuneaton as part of the rebuild and realignment of that same road to support the new housing estate that is being developed in this location. Unfortunately, as you can see, this is shared use space. There's nowhere else that a footpath or a cycle path is going to go at this stage. We can see we've got the fence to the right here. We've got the road to the left. There's nowhere it's going to fit. So this is what we've got. Three meters wide. I have measured it. Shared use space. Yes, there is that buffer that we've got to the carriageway, which is nice and gives you that little bit more effective width. But then we lose that to the right where we've got the street lamps. We've got the signs, including the ones that say this is shared use space and right back at the beginning where you might have seen the telegraph pole all intruding into that precious three meters of space that is going to be shared between cyclists and pedestrians and of course providing a suboptimal experience for both users. We do have priority crossings across side roads. This one here, we've got this brick red surface. I'm not convinced that the speed bump is going to be significant enough to really encourage drivers to slow and stop and yield that priority to pedestrians and cyclists. But the markings are there and the communication is correct that we do have priority across that crossing. As we get back onto the unfinished cycle route, well, let's just take a look at what the road itself is for. Obviously, it supports the new housing infrastructure, but more broadly, Gypsy Lane provides a connection between the Whitestone and Attleborough areas of Nuneaton through to the Griff Roundabout between Nuneaton and its neighbouring town, Bedworth. And around that location, you'll find industrial areas, so jobs, you'll find entertainment and leisure, and of course, the ongoing route to get into Bedworth itself. This particular path only will go as far as the Coventry Canal, which is about halfway down this road. Today, we can't get that far. We can only get about a quarter of the way down the road up to this new roundabout. But in time, we'll get to the Coventry Canal. But that will be as far as this route will go. That is a shame. OK, that's down to the limits of this housing development scheme. That means it's not going to go any further because that's where the boundary is. But it would be nice to see full length infrastructure on Gypsy Lane taking you all the way from Whitestone down to the Griff Roundabout. But we don't see that at the moment, which is a shame. This will be a popular route for scores with this housing estate, so it could get quite congested at peak times. We'll have to see how that plays out in years to come when the housing estate is finished. The arm to this roundabout does look like it yields priority to pedestrians and cyclists, which is good. The markings are there to give way at the crossing. Whether drivers will pay attention to that or not, we'll just have to wait and see. I have my doubts, to be honest, but if they do, then that will be fantastic. And again, the signalling is there that pedestrians and cyclists should have priority over the side road. So that is somewhat of a positive. And I'll just take a quick moment here to say that if you found this video interesting or useful in any way, then don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and leave a comment if you wish. And if you want to send a tip my way, I have a Ko-fi page available as well. It's ko-fi.com slash bicycleben and any tips you want to send my way are very much gratefully received. Thank you. As we come back up the road here, I'm staying on the road just because it's easier at this stage to main on the road. We've got the hedgerow that's been planted there with some trees. I do worry about maintenance and whether that's going to lead to overgrowth and a further erosion of that three metres of space. If maintenance is kept up to date, that's probably not too much of a problem. But will it be? That's a question. And as we get towards the end of Gypsy Lane now and back towards Marston Lane, where I'm going to turn and finish this video, we can just see the end of the cycle route there. There's no connection at the moment through to Marston Lane or through to the existing off-road path, which at the moment is pretty much a gravel track, but there is something there or nearby. So there is work to do to make sure that connection goes in. So that's been my first look at the infrastructure being put in on Gypsy Lane in Nuneaton. I am disappointed. I think this is a missed opportunity. To be fair, it's better than nothing. We had nothing before and now at least we've got a shared use 
path so there is that option for cycling away from motor traffic but with the rebuild and redesign of the road to me it seemed an ideal opportunity to put in really good infrastructure for cycling something that would mean that pedestrians cyclists and drivers are all in their own space and it minimizes the chance of conflict that chance sadly has been missed Thanks very much for watching. I dare say I'll do a follow up to this video as the uh, shared use path is developed and it becomes a useful route to link between Whitestone and the Coventry Canal. So do make sure you're subscribed to catch that whenever it's released. Hit the like button if you wish and leave a comment down below as well. If you uh, do want to send a tip, that address again is ko-fi.com slash bicycleben and find me on the social medias by heading over to feats.uk slash links. That's f-i-e-t-s dot uk slash links. Catch you next time. Bye-bye.